Right, we've got some new features to look at in Evoto, and in today we're looking at version 3.7.0300. So we've, they've added a feature here that um, background changer taken to the next level, they're calling it. So it allows you to re-add things that were already in the picture before the um, backdrop was added. Anyway, we're going to have a take a look at that. I don't think it's going to work right myself personally. But anyway, we'll give it a go. We've got the AI headshot crop, which will be pretty good for some people, not something I would use all the time. We've got um, AI horizon, horizontal correction, shall I say. Again, something I would have probably have done first off in Lightroom um, before bringing my image into Evoto. So probably something I wouldn't use. Performance optimization, that's good. Hair color, okay, so we're gonna have a look at that one. <clears throat> I've been talking about uh, them adding this for quite a while, probably over six months, but it's it's in there now, we'll have a look at that. Let's see if they've done a good job with that one. We've got head pose, which is adjusting, you know, uh, another good feature. Let's have a quick look at this hair color so we can change hair colors, blah, blah, blah. really good. Okay, so we're going to have a look at that. M lips, which is a good one. Adds that little crease in there. It does define lips. Anyway, so we're going to take a look at that as well. And we've got one there called neck length adjustment. Another good feature to have. Right, okay, so let's have a look. Manual fine tuning added to eyes module to refine glasses, blah, blah, blah. You can have a take a look at this yourself, but we're going to jump straight in. I've got some pictures loaded up here that we're going to try. Now, the first thing I'm going to go for is the one I've been waiting for is the backdrop. OK, so we've got the original image here. If we wanted to change the backdrop color, we can head over into this area here. And then we've got a choice of backdrops that we can use now. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me let's just say we wanted to change this to a baby blue which we will do it's processing and then it's done the change for me now we've got issues straight away as the software is showing us we've got no shadows no nothing we've just got the person and the box it just doesn't look realistic okay she's floating in midair so is the box so we've got this new thing here. We've just got the subject. Okay. Then we've got subject and related objects. And then we've got related objects and non-connected objects. Now, whichever one you use, it still doesn't look natural. As you can see here, the, you know, if it was a image, which is like a, expressed before in other videos if it's an image where it's not full length you can get away with it but it it falls short when it comes to the floor area there's no definition there's no no depth so it doesn't look natural now we can turn down the opacity and then we're getting some of those floor shadows in and then your eyes perceive where the floor is and it looks more natural but that defeats the object you wanted to do in the first place which was change the background so at the moment this is not working as it should now Evoto if you watch this video you know get your team back on this we need to have the ability to give it some 3d depth once again so you can see the person is standing on the floor and not just floating in midair like she is doing there so again, the feature is okay, but for images where it's full length on the floor, it's just not working. Now, the way I do the change myself is I would just go to the background, select that, and then we can change the background color to what we want. It is adding something to the box there, which we could rectify, but I'm just showing you quickly. That looks more natural because We've got the shadow area. We can see she's on the floor. There's a bit of shadow here, blah, blah, blah. It looks more natural. They need to have this ability to get these shadow areas back in 
to make it worth using. If all, note to you, take note, that's what you need to do. Okay, so that's the first feature we've looked at. Okay, so we'll have a look at the hair color changing on this picture here. So we'll head over into this section and then we'll go down to hair. Now I was talking again about this for a long time and uh, it's now been added, but there's a problem with it. Now they can rectify this pretty quickly. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the hair color, but as soon as you put the, the, um, you know, the color you want on, they've got this slider here set to 60%, which defeats the object. You want to see straight away the color difference. So we need this as soon as you click on to be at zero to see the color change in the hair. And then if you would like to darken it, as so. So again, Evoto. It doesn't make sense to have it set at 50%, 50%. You know, do you see what I mean? All right, so we're gonna put the amount back up to 100. The darkening, it, this needs to be down there. And then we can try, in, instead of me clicking on here, I want to see this color. Oh, now I've got to do that. It's making the process twice as long. You just want to see the color and then adjust. So you need to fix that, Iboto. If you're watching this video, this needs to be at zero and then apply after you have looked at the color you have chosen. There is no point putting it at 50%. You do not see the colors. Do you understand? Okay, ran over. So we've got a hair color change. It's not a feature I would use I've said this before, but it does give the client the option to see different colors on their hair. Okay. So, but again, look, okay. So I've got my client in the studio. I'd like to see myself with red hair. That's no problem. So I click on this red. Oh, the put off straight away because it just looks too dark. Put the slider down to zero position and then you can adjust the darkness later on so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven they need to add more colors again i can head over into portrait pro and we've got a massive selection of colors that we can try in here so again so look portrait pro i want to see vibrant print pink we see it straight away any color you click on you're going to see it straight away and then you can ad decide to adjust the recolor amount accordingly if auto fix this that's not working i don't know who thought of that but anyway you definitely need to be speaking to photographers before you add these features because that is two jobs to look at the color. Okay, the next feature we're going to be look at, looking at is the neck. Let me go down into full body shape. And then the new one they've added is neck length, which is a good one. If you wanted to add a little bit of length to the neck, again, well done Ivoto. This one is a good feature and it seems to work fine there. No complaints. Um, one of the other features was, let me just check what's new. So yeah, dragging the images in, that's a good feature. We've got that added now. Backdrop changer, this is not taken to the next level. You need to rethink what you're doing with this. This doesn't work. Yes, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get the subject here but it doesn't look natural. Come on guys, it doesn't look natural. The original, you've got some depth here. You've got a little bit of shadow here. Wait till it goes back to the original. A little bit of shadow here. So it does look 3D. 
now it's just blank and then yes you can add the things back in but that doesn't make it look any different to what you were doing originally have a think about that and then let's try it again in the future head chop crop good idea not something i would use and um, the hair color that definitely needs work remember guys that slider needs to be you see on there it's there and then you're adjusting it we need it there to start and lips let me just try that one and then we will go into a full edit eye bags lips mouth facial expression where are we at with the it goes that one down facial shape eyes nose mouth there we go let me just zoom in so we've got the m shape lips so again it's not going to be working perfect is it um, let me try it on a picture with the mouth closed m shaped lips so again it's something it's it's in there but it's not you know you don't want it adjusting all the lip we need it to just do this area here now when they show it in the you know the the perfect image they've got it working on fine if that's not real world is it you know look i'm showing you it on this two pictures it's just not working we're doing some really strange effects here um if it doesn't work right guys you know please just don't add it until it's you, you've refined it to that point where you're happy with it let me just try it on one more m-shaped lips no it doesn't work now there we go it's not like me, it's me being um anything other than a quick test that one is work but it's moving the teeth as well so if you wanted to add that little m shape i would suggest you do it in photoshop please guys come on your foot your, your software's good i do like it you've got loads of people that like it i'll leave a link below for someone to try it with 30 credits if you haven't tried this software yet it's worth a go um yeah so the link will be, be, be below you can get 30 credits try it yourself but some of these features guys come on they're just not working as they should if the mouth is open the m shape why would we be doing this come on guys your, your algorithms or whatever you're using it's just you know you've got you you've got someone in the you know the programming department look i've got this new feature blah 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 we'll try it on a couple of perfect pictures think wow that looks good put it in put it in the software let's add it but then in the real world it's not working if you wanted to add a little m here just push it down with the liquify tool or we could do it with this liquify tool in here and then just push this area down yourself let me just try on another one cancel that one oh, excuse me and we'll go into here liquify just make that a little bit bigger to about there and then push it down yourself or do it in photoshop because the software is not working as it should okay rants over quick edits over quick reviews over i'm going to be doing a full edit on this picture in the next video and um yeah we'll see you then peace